Welcome to another episode of Pakistan on Update. My name is Neelofar Afridi Qasim. Today we're going to be speaking to Troya, Raja Tridev's daughter. The Raja left Chakma to join Pakistan in 1971. She will be teaching us how to make three beautiful dishes from Chakma. Former Pakistan. Pakistan is a new country. It has had a tumultuous history. We've seen two independences, two partitions, depending on your perspective. First from colonial India in 1947, and then our largest part of Pakistan, East Pakistan, left us to become Bangladesh in 1971. In this history, we cannot forget those who chose Pakistan at great personal loss. Those heroes and people should never be forgotten. One such Pakistani was the late Raja Tridev Roy. Raja Saab was the former 50th Raja of the Chakma tribe in the Chittagong Hill Tracks region of present-day Bangladesh. He was Raja from 2nd May 1953 until he abdicated and chose Pakistan in 1971. Following the independence of Bangladesh from Pakistan, he chose to be Pakistani and he lost his kingdom. He chose to remain Pakistani. For that, we will be eternally grateful. He served as our envoy for decades with great honor. The Chakma people believe in the Triveda Buddhism. The name Chakma is derived from the Sanskrit word Sakhiman, which means beholder of the power. Now to the food. Today's recipe is in honor and recognition of Chakma's cuisine. It is part of Pakistan's culinary heritage and its history, and in my opinion, should be included in our compilation of Pakistan on a plate. Let us first speak to her and her family about her culinary traditions. Tell me a little bit about um, uh, Raja Saab. You know, we are so honored that, uh, you know, he chose Pakistan. You know, we know so little about our heroes and um, he's definitely one of them. My father left Bangladesh during 71 war and he never went there. He was offered to be the president of this country. He was a, a minister of tourism, Minister of Minorities, then in 81 he was sent to Argentina as the ambassador of Pakistan to Argentina. Pakistan was a very dear place to him. He was always eternally grateful, not to the governments, but also to its people, people for the love. My mentor? Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, I love my grandfather. For me, he, was, he is my hero. He is the number one for me. So tell me a little bit about Chakma. What is Chakma? We usually belong from the Arakan Valley, as we even uh, we existed since I think the 11th century. Okay. Uh, fought the Mughals and all. We were always independent, but though we paid tributes to not only the Mughal Emperor but British India, yes. then India, then uh, Pakistan. basically Pakistan, and now currently Bangladesh. So uh, the Chakmas have uh, being people from the hill. Um, We've always been uh, basically in love with nature, the yes. trees around, the lakes around. Uh, music plays a very important role in our culture as uh, singing or composing music is one of the best, uh, I would say, cultural uh, gifts that uh, Jummos. And uh, according to a professor in Nepal, we believe to be the descendants of the Shakya, Buddhas. And the other story they said that there was a king who came conquering from you know, Bangladesh, or uh, every Bangladesh, part. Uh, Bijoygiri. Bijoygiri. He's called Bijoygiri. He came from Araka and came as a conquest. conquest and he ended up building his kingdom in what Chakma. is now Chakma. Now Chakma. And you remain Buddhist. Yes. yes. Can you tell me a little bit about the uh, type of Buddhism that uh, uh, what people uh, practice and follow? Actually, it's not a religion, they say it's a more like a philosophy. Okay. And there's two types of Buddhists. 
One called Mohayana. Mohayana. Another one called Hinayana. Hinayana. So the difference between both of them is Mahayana is followed in Sanskrit and Hinayana is followed by Pali language. Okay. And which one do you follow? We follow the Hinayana. Okay. Nepal, Sri Lanka, Burma, we all follow Hinayana. Hinayana. Like Japan, China, they follow Mahayana. It was uh, divided after the death of Buddha in the 6th century AD. All right. So two of them. Okay, and uh, the people of Pakistan, this region, which yes. is the land of uh, Buddhism, yes. you know, our the culture, cradle of Buddhism. the cradle of Buddhism, mm -hmm. they followed Hinayana. Yes, they followed the Hinayana uh, tradition. Tradition, because Buddha came from there. Yes, Gautama. He came and he Texla was the first university. So recently we have we celebrated a uh, New Year. Yes. So can you tell me a little bit about Bizu? Yes. Yeah, so Bizu, um, I would say it's more of a, a festival for uh, spring, but it's a social religious festival. Okay. It's like welcoming the spring, the first fall. Ah, okay. The first fall of rainfall, f so that they can basically doom for the harvest. June, for the harvest no for rose. Pesaki, exactly. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So it's it's a Southeast Asian culture, I would say. So we celebrate it by uh, it's three days. First one being full bizu, yes. uh, where full means flower. Full means flower, and we decorate our homes with the flowers that usually that we have in a locality. Then comes the second day, yes, uh, which is called moon bizu, moon bizu, where we make our traditional with uh, food that we will try later on today, fazon. Fazon. Um, it's basically vegetables picked up from the jungles. Since it goes history, uh, since uh, past history, they used to go to the jungles to get the different vegetables. More the more uh, blessings. blessings it would come or and basically would bring flavor or aroma to the yes. dish. And the third day? third day is a new year for us. We call it Gujya Gujya Gujya. Gujya Gujya means like you're like you're just Coming lying and rolling, back. so oh, it's, okay. it's, uh, relax. Relax. it's relaxing. It's relaxing. Yes, <laughs> it's relaxing. Yeah, it's enjoying. So the young uh, Chakma uh, boys and girls would wear their finon khadi as yes, beautiful as both of you look. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Very yes. nicely. You and them. you take the blessings, blessings of your elders. You touch their feet and also you pay them. The oh, old yes. people who can't move or they are very old, the young people, they go and pay them. So you are honoring your elders in the family. Yes, yes. To wash away all the negativity or the bad or uh, time energy, you've had, energy yes, yes. that you've had during the last year. Yeah. Let's talk about now chakma food. Oh. So yes. what what does chakma uh, have in terms of what do you grow? Yeah. And what are some of the culinary delights? You, you have, have lots of varieties of rice. Varieties of rice. Yes. That we don't get it here. We have sticky rice, red sticky rice, white, and they have a beautiful aroma. Okay. Are they short grain, long grain? Yes, short, short, grain. short grain. And you eat, we use dry fish. Lots shrimps. of dry fish. Dry fish and shrimps. And shrimps. shrimps. And they have different kind of herbs that we don't get it here. Such as? Such as like Thai, um, uh, Thai basil. basil. Thai basil. We have different tastes and like uh, coriander. Sabaran is one of the very, very uh, authentic, authentic, uh, authentic herb. Oh, so yes. more than the taste, it brings the aroma. Right. And it's used uh, mostly in uh, chicken. chicken. Okay. And, you know, and so I wanted to ask, as Buddhists, you're yeah. eating meat. Yes, well, uh, technically it's not said that we're not allowed to. Okay. Uh, it's, as long it, as it's, you don't kill it. As long as you yourself don't kill it. Okay. But then again, um, it's um, not advice either that you should have meat. Even in Buddhism, it said you are not allowed to drink. You can drink until you don't get intoxicated. intoxicated. Okay. Yes. And so, how different is the Chakma culinary tradition from the Bengali? It's a very big difference because uh, we usually use lots of spice, different condiments. Okay. Like dhania, jeera. But we don't use that kind of uh, condiments. We only eat turmeric, okay. ginger, okay. and uh, green chilies. Okay. Most of them are very red chilies. Red chilies. All good food yes. is all about its freshness. Fresh.
we use the banana leaves as our blade okay. on top of a majang which okay. is like a small stool i would say made of straws okay and you place the banana leaf over that okay so i'm going to so sure, sure. banana leaves also thank you so much for sharing um, with us chakma culture culinary and history very much part of our history in our culture and so let's go and see how we can make some of these beautiful dishes Fish in a banana leaf. Fish in a banana leaf. Yes. Wow, very traditional. Traditional, no? Okay. Also, awesome. yes. So I'll show you first. You cut the banana leaves. Oh, this is the banana leaves. So this is. You have to learn how to do it properly so you don't burn it, huh? Yes. So there is an art to this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Yes, it's fun and very different. What? And traditionally, Trad you did it over coal. What did you do? Yes, traditionally, you know, they, those days they didn't even have gas. So yes. traditionally, they do it on top of the coal. Nice, and you can even also, see all the ribs. Yes, on the banana. And also, this is hygiene because you burn if they have any insects. Any wow. insects? That's great. So yeah, the like, old ways really were the best. Exactly. You know, you see, food was medicine. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to. Cut them and make them into two pieces. Very looks so I'll cut. put uh, three tablespoons of onion paste because it needs a lot, of, lots of onion. One whole teaspoon of uh, ginger paste. Half a teaspoon of garlic paste, red chili paste, one teaspoon of turmeric. We're going to add the mustard, mustard oil. oil. Banana leaves are layered. This is what we're going to tie it with, right? Okay, so now show us how you wrap it. Okay, there you go. It bends, huh? Yes, because as we put it on the fire, fire on the stove, we made it softer. It's softer, so it's easier to. So you make a little pouch. Yes, and then we use the same banana leaf. Uh, the leftovers to tie it up. The spine of the, the banana. Spine of the banana yes. So about 40 minutes. minutes. But after 10 minutes, we have to remove this and put it on top of the table. Alright. Oh, directly. Then. Before we move on to the next recipe, it is important for Pakistanis to remember. This land we call Pakistan is the Mecca for Buddhists. Almost all the holy sites of Buddhism are in what is now Pakistan. Whether Rawalpindi, Khanpur, Taxila, Charsada, Peshawar, Swat, Takhbai, this entire region was Buddhist. The second recipe is chili radish with chicken.
lots of onions. Lots of onions. Yeah, right? it's cut in. A... But every house has to have this okay. dish. Okay. It's a very traditional. Okay. That's and it's a combination of all the agriculture and the vegetables of the area. No? Yes, exactly. Some of them and Sara Rang Barang Piela. It's also very festive and very colorful. Very colorful yeah. and you know. And the taste, it is a mixture of everything. Mixture of everything. Yeah. Different kind of it. It has sweet potatoes, it has uh, pumpkin. At the same time, it has a bit of vitica. Yes. It's a combination so of sweet, sour, sour, green, yellow, pink. Yes. Everything. 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 Which has, has all good festival shows, right? Yes. It's colorful yes. and you know. The mixture of the chakma cuisine. Yes, it's very very bright fish. It's just the kind of bright fish we use. And if you can't get bright fish, you can also cook with shrimp, with fresh shrimps or prawns. And what are the rivers around? Is there a river in yes. around uh, chakma? Yes, it's a lake. It's a lake. Yes, it's a huge lake. And uh, so we always have river fish. All river right. fish is very very integral in the cuisine. Okay. Not sea fish, but the fish. And also, how does it? Do you have any idea how the fish is dried? They dry in the sun. Okay. With yeah. salt or with without salt. salt? With salt, and they have a process to keep it, and they dry in the sun. Vegetables are used in uh, religious uh -huh. ceremonies or not? Do, uh, do you have any uh, pabandi? You know, mm -hmm. like on uh, no, no, no. You can put any kind of. What you know, the way that says whoever likes uh, the favorite vegetable, you can put. Okay. So every house they have different things. Okay. You know, they make it. So I add all the vegetables. on top. So, you know, this is yummy delicious. delicious. Thank, Thank you so, so much, Troy. Mmm, yummy delicious. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Pakistan on a Plate, an incredible recipe, three recipes from Chakma. Until next time, thank you so much. Kudafis. Oh, my God, I'm